For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I'm really excited to pack for you the Away Medium Suitcase. We are headed to Maui for eight days for our belated honeymoon. We got married during COVID and had to cancel pretty much everything, including the honeymoon, so it's finally the one year anniversary trip and we couldn't be more excited. That's why I am packing in the medium suitcase. I am just like, I'm gonna bring whatever I want. This is the honeymoon we've waited an additional year for. Efficiency is not really the name of the game here. If you wanna see me pack really efficiently, like 15 days in the Away Bigger carry-on, I'll be sure to include all of those packing videos in the description box below. But just know here that I'm just bringing whatever I want. If it fits in the suitcase, it's coming. I'm not trying to be minimalist with this packing. Just want to say that up front. This is supposed to be fun, celebratory, bring all the dresses you want Maggie kind of packing. I do want to go ahead and mention that a portion of this video is sponsored by Brewmate and let's get into the packing. All right, I'm gonna take you through the different piles of clothes that I'm bringing just to give you an overview of what's coming with me. And then we'll actually get into the nitty gritty of fitting it all into this suitcase. Okay, first up, and arguably the hardest thing to pick out, I am bringing five dresses. We have five nice dinners that we're going to, and I tried to pick accordingly, so I figured this fun floral one would be great for a luau. I got this one last year and never got a chance to wear it. It was gonna be my rehearsal dinner dress, and I'm excited to put that to use, and then a couple of other fun ones. So, nice dresses, check. As far as bottoms go, I'm bringing two skirts, just because I felt like if I wanted to switch one of these out and wear them to dinner, I could. But then it could also be just like a look a little nicer, walk around town kind of style. And then I'm also bringing three pairs of shorts. So I have this green pair, a white denim, and then a high-waisted blue jean denim that I could wear over bathing suits or just with a tank top or something if we're walking around town. Keeping it pretty simple with tops, I just have a normal white tank top that could go into any of the shorts I just showed you. This kind of gray knit tank that I also thought would be pretty versatile. And then more fun blouses that I'll probably only wear once. So this one and then another blue one that I felt like could be worn with jeans or with shorts. And then I also just have like a basic black blouse. Athletic clothes. We do plan to do a lot of outdoor activities and soak up as much time outside in Hawaii as possible. And the temperatures are a little bit cooler than I thought they would be. So I'm bringing a mix of leggings and shorts so that I can just make a game time decision depending on the weather that day. So I have three pair of leggings in total and I think one of these I'm actually gonna wear on the day that we're traveling to Hawaii. So only two of these will be packed. I also have a couple of pairs of athletic shorts and a couple of tank tops here. One, two, three, four to be exact. So this is all the kind of loungy athletic wear that I'm gonna bring. And then if we end up coming in early from the pool or the beach one day, I could also just throw this on before dinner so I'm not sitting around in a nice dress. So these will definitely be worn and reworn, kind of depending on the activity. Pajamas, I figured two pair was plenty for eight days, so that's all that's coming with us. Two pair of pants, I picked out these two pair of jeans because I figured you can't go wrong. So one white pair of jeans and then one kind of universal darker shade that I guess I could also substitute as a dinner outfit if I change my mind about the dresses when I'm there. And then again, hearkening back to those cooler temps, I am bringing this white pullover and a denim jacket because this matches most everything that I packed. Three swimsuit cover-ups, again, not trying to be minimalist with this, but this white one I thought was super fun and matches all of my swimsuits. This yellow one I actually got from my Newly Box, which is a clothing rental service that I've been doing and loving. Also did a whole video on that if you're curious. And then this black one is just a basic kind of like dress that you can wear. So I don't have to worry about adding any additional shorts or anything to it. So I figured since we're gonna be going to the beach every single day, having three for eight days honestly wasn't that bad. I also have swimsuits, lots and lots of swimsuits, like six or seven to be exact. But again, I just thought it would be fun. This gives me options and I am gonna have to rewear one or two of them, which is totally fine. So I have most of the swimsuits here, but then I also have some swimsuits living in my hat that I'm bringing with this. That's already sitting in my suitcase so that I can show you how I pack around it. And we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. I have two total toiletry bags. One of them is for more like full size toiletries and since I'm checking a bag, I do have the ability to bring that. This also has like my face washing tools and sunscreen and things like that that we'll want for our trip. And then I also have this, which is my normal makeup and 
other like skincare kind of bag. This I also just did an entire packing video on, so if you're curious about what crazy capacity this tiny bag has, I definitely encourage you to go watch it. I'm not gonna pack this for you today, but I did want you to be aware that this is probably going in my checked luggage, but the beauty of this is that all of these are carry-on friendly, like they are under that 3.4 fluid ounce limit. So if I change my mind or run out of space in this suitcase, I can just throw this into my backpack carry-on as well. We always travel with a first aid kit. This just happens to be mine. And we typically travel with things like allergy medication, Benadryl, Tylenol, Band-Aids, things of that nature. And this is always pre-packed. And I typically look through it and refill anything that we might have used from the trip before. But this is definitely something you don't want to travel without because you never know when you're going to need something like that. And then it saves you the hassle of going and finding it somewhere else. The two tools that I'm bringing, one is my curling iron and one is this steamer. This is a really tiny little travel steamer. And since I am kind of balling everything up and kind of packing it really tightly, and we're going to those nicer dinners, I just felt like it would be better if we weren't a wrinkly mess. I've never ever traveled with a steamer before. This is me really getting kind of crazy. We typically travel in carry-on only, so I just feel so lucky and free that I can include things like this. As far as shoes go, I typically always put them in a packing cube. So I have them sitting on top of the packing cube right now to kind of show you that it does fit really well. And this is four pair of sandals which sounds like a lot, maybe overkill, but it all fits, so why not give myself the options? So I am traveling with these kind of clog mule heels. This will be kind of my nicer shoe throughout, and they're so, so comfortable. I'm also bringing this pair from Old Navy that I feel like I could wear to the pool or the beach and I wouldn't be upset if they got messed up, but I could also wear these just walking around town. These can kind of go either way. If we have like a semi-casual dinner, I could wear these to that, and I can wear these just walk around town. They're so, so comfortable, and they match absolutely everything. And then lastly, my Tevas. I got these specifically because I didn't have any sort of like water shoe or beach shoe. And I feel like these are in style these days and so I figured why not. Now I am bringing one more pair of shoes but I'm not actually gonna pack these. This is what I'm gonna wear on the plane. And these are shoes that come from a brand called Tropic Feel. They did send these to me for free. However, I have been thoroughly testing these shoes for the past like three or so months because I wanted to be sure that I actually really liked these before I said anything. So I have mine in the style Canyon and I have mine in the color Sage Green, which is a little bit of interest for me because I feel like I'm mostly kind of a neutral shoe person, but I thought that this would just add a little pizzazz and green I feel like is pretty neutral overall. Now things that I like about these and why I'm so excited to bring these on this trip specifically is that these shoes are super duper lightweight. So if I do change my mind and decide to pack these, these only weigh seven ounces, so these aren't gonna like put my suitcase over the weight limit by any means. Also, they're super breathable. You can see if I get up close, it has all of these little kind of breathable holes in them, which is really nice when you're wearing them in a hot climate, but made even nicer because these are waterproof. So even if I wanted to go jump in the ocean with these on, these do dry pretty quickly because they are so breathable and you're not gonna mess up the shoe, like it is meant to get wet. Another thing to kind of go along with all of that is that if you are sticking, you know, a stinky wet foot into a shoe, these are supposed to be odorless for the lifetime of the shoe, which is amazing. And legitimately after three months, no odors whatsoever. These are also made from sustainable materials, which is a double bonus. The one like warning I do have for these shoes is that I think that you should size up. Because they have this awesome slip-on design, which really fits snugly to your feet, I think that I would have preferred a size eight in these shoes instead of my true size seven. Just had to put a little plug in for these because I have really, really been loving these. And then I already have my hat in my suitcase because for the first time ever, I am traveling with a hat. So I watched a lot of videos to make sure that I knew how to do it to keep my hats in great shape. So now that you've seen everything going with me on our trip, let's try to fit it all into this suitcase without being over the 50 pound limit. You can see that this suitcase is organized into three different sections. So over here, I typically put my toiletries and curling iron and shoes and things like that. But since I am traveling with a hat this trip, I've decided to put all of my clothes in this zipper clothes pocket here. And I'll probably add a couple of swimsuits to this zipper pocket here. And then if you flip this over, you have this entire pocket here. 
So since I'm not putting shoes and toiletries on the left side, I'm gonna include those on the right. But one thing that I have to show you, or just a little hat packing tip for you, I'll bring you in closer for. So I have this hat that I wanna travel with, and as you can see, it has shape here. I don't wanna mess up the hat in transit. So what I've learned to do is flip over the hat upside down and then fill it with small things. Since I am bringing a fair number of bathing suits, I figured I would just roll up all of the two pieces that I'm bringing and stick them in here. Okay, so once your hat is filled, then that way it can actually keep its structure in case anything presses down on the top of your hat. So I think I'm gonna put it over to the right because this way I can put a majority of clothing all folded up here and then just kind of fit all of the kind of athletic wear and things like that all around the rest of the hat. So now I have pretty much all of my clothes packed on this side. The only thing that I'm lacking is the couple of swimsuits that are left and the nice dresses. And I feel like I could probably fit the nice dresses either lying on top, unfolded, or I could put them on the other side. So we'll kind of see, we'll play around with the room that I have and go from there. Before we move on to the second side of the suitcase, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Brewmate. So back in February, I talked about Brewmate and I mentioned that I feel like we would be using them all summer long and that has definitely held true. It's like 90, 98 degrees here right now and so these really do a killer job of keeping my drink actually cold, especially if we choose to sit outside because they are made of this like double walled steel material. So not only are they keeping your drinks really cold, but they're also gonna last a long time because they're not just made of something flimsy. These do retail for $25 a piece and I have mine specifically in the Hopsolate or slim style. Now these do come in a variety of different colors so if rose gold kind of iridescence is not your jam then they have a lot of plain colors but then they also have other fun patterns and things to suit your fancy. Now the hops later slim is meant to hold the tall skinny can so think like white claws or the fancy LaCroix or in my case this like Topo Chico thing that I'm drinking but they also make these in a regular can size if you do prefer to drink a regular sized beer or LaCroix or Waterloo or something along those lines. Now, Brewmate did send these to me for free, but I recently purchased my very own Brewmate product for my dad for Father's Day, and we got him this Brewmate shaker. It's actually this kind of stainless steel base, but then it has a plastic top with a silicone kind of sealer. So it's so easy to get off even when your drinks are really cold, but the cool thing about this is that this is 20 ounces. So maybe you wanna shake up a drink and drink it right out of the shaker itself, no problem, because it actually comes with a top that you can drink out of, one that seals your drink shut, which is really cool. And then if you wanna mix up another drink, you just switch the top out and shake again. So this is just a lot more practical than a regular shaker. It's more user-friendly and it kind of gives you options. So you don't only have to use this cup as a shaker, you could also just use it as a 20 ounce tumbler too, which I thought was really nice. Brian, my husband, is very tempted to get his own version of this, so we may have to invest in another. But if you're looking for a unique gift to get somebody, maybe like a housewarming gift or something, I feel like this would be perfect. But if you don't wanna waste the time making a cocktail and you want something pre-made in one of these tall skinny cans, then the Hops Later Slim is probably what you're gonna to wanna to go for. So now that we have our drink, let's get back to packing. This is where all of my other undergarments were. And so I just went ahead and included the rest of the swimsuits over in this zipper pocket here. What's really nice about this is that everything in it is squishy. So when I go to tighten this to close it, I'm not worried about anything getting messed up. So now I'm gonna move on to the other side of the suitcase where I'm gonna pack the toiletries, the shoes, and then the remaining dresses, and that'll pretty much be everything. All right, starting with the shoes here, I could also just push this forward a little bit and probably fit something here, which I might need that valuable space. So I'm gonna leave it pushed over like that. The next item is the big toiletry bag that has more full-size products and things that I definitely can't put in a carry-on. I think I've officially decided 
that I'm gonna use this bag in my carry-on backpack because this way, if my luggage gets lost or something, I have a toothbrush and toothpaste and everything that I would need if something goes wrong. So this one is not gonna get packed in the suitcase after all. The steamer and the curling iron. I feel like these can just kind of fit in all the nooks and crannies and they'll be totally fine. Which leaves this remaining area open for the dresses. And then I also have a little bit of height left so I can probably lay the dresses on top too. The reason I love away suitcases so much is that they're so thoughtfully designed. So once I flip this back over, I then have these two straps here that click together and then kind of compress everything so that I can easily zip the suitcase. So now everything on this side is completely compressed. So all I have to do is zip this side shut. So that was it. As you can see, everything fit in the medium sized away suitcase really easily with very minimal squishing or sitting on the suitcase or pushing things down or anything. So I feel very comfortable about how everything fit in there and that everything is very well protected, especially the hat. That's probably what I'm most nervous about packing with. Some big pros about these away suitcases. One, they pack super duper efficiently. I feel like while it's not the most groundbreaking design, I love that the suitcase is split in half so that you have equal halves to pack in. They're typically very deep and I feel like you can always fit so much more in these suitcases than you think that you can. I also really appreciate that zippered flap where I usually put all my bathing suits and things like that because it does squish down and really compresses that side of the suitcase so well. And that's typically why I usually pack all of my clothes on that side because I feel like clothes can squish a lot easily than maybe like toiletries or shoes. But this go around since I wasn't like cramming a ton in the suitcase and everything fit kind of naturally and nicely, I felt like it truly worked fine putting my toiletries and shoes and everything on the opposite side of my suitcase. Also the hard sided luggage in general really protects everything in transit. So I'm never worried about my things breaking even when people are throwing my suitcase around and such. And it's made with a really sturdy material that's protective but also super duper flexible so that you don't have to worry about your suitcase cracking after like one use. But one thing that makes this completely different from the bigger carry-on which I've packed before is that the bigger carry-on and the regular carry-on come with an ejectable battery but this one doesn't for obvious reasons. One, you couldn't use it because it's not with you. It's checked under the plane and also for the restrictions of batteries being under the plane or in the overhead bins. All in all, I'm very pleased. I'm very excited for our trip to Hawaii. So that's pretty much everything that I have for you today. If you're interested in more packing videos, you're just on a binge and you wanna see me pack that cosmetics case that I mentioned or some other sizes of away luggage, I have plenty of comparisons and packing videos for you to check out and I'll be sure to leave a comprehensive list in the description box below. Also special thanks to Brewmate for sponsoring a portion of this video. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.